Make no mistake, this week's pick is a picture book, but it was about Charles Dickens. So how could I resist? How did Charles Dickens come up with characters like the ridiculous Miss Havisham or the gangs of street urchins in Oliver Twist? According to A Boy Called Dickens, all he had to do was look around, at the boys who worked side by side with him in the blacking factory, or at the throngs of characters bustling through the streets of London. I won't summarize this book for you since it's about a 10 minute read, but what I so enjoyed about A Boy Called Dickens was the window it gave onto young Dickens' world. Dickens' books really did spring straight from real life, and any reader already in the know about Dickens will have no trouble picking out bits and pieces from books like David Copperfield and A Christmas Carol. The only off keynote in this tale is the author's slightly didactic ending, which would probably go right over the heads of this picture book's intended audience. Then again, maybe Deborah Hopkinson was taking her cue from her subject matter. Dickens couldn't seem to resist filling his books with social commentary. Perhaps this explains Hopkinson's decision to do the same.